Hello, Cancer. How are you today? Oh, five of wands reversed? Outstanding. That sounds really excited. <laughs> what deck am I shuffling right now, you might be asking? Why, it is the Starman Tarot deck by David De Angelis, which I think is his name. Because I'm American, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But I'm trying. <laughs> and he is inspired by the... And this was inspired by the artworks he created for David Bowie himself. So he worked on um, two albums of his. I can't remember which ones they were. I want to say one's Oracle, but I'm not sure. So I won't don't take that all the way. Anyway, yes, so this is a very, very vibrant and beautiful deck. I'm really happy I got it. It's kind of not meant to last, but that's okay. I'll have fun with it. It's just... Like, I have a nice box, I have a decent book, I don't mind wearing them down, but I really, really like these cards, and we'll see why. But we're going to start off with yours, okay, and I'm going to clarify with the Shadowscape deck. This is going to be for January to the end, until we get to February of this current year, right? We'll start with these two, since they're so hoppy. The Prince of Pentacles Reverse. Air King, right? Yeah, Air King. So, like, this is like the knight, right? And the Three of Pentacles reversed for you, Cancer. No whammies. Then we have Move Over. These things are so, like, new and slick. It's like, mmm. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords. Seven of Swords reversed. I feel like apologizing. You feel like you're just gonna carry some more dead weight. <laughs> just asking. Like, it's just like, ah, there's not a lot of emotion in this cancer. Like, I'm kind of surprised. Like, you guys are, like, really emotional creatures. It's all you fucking live off of. The Hierophant is the finale and the catalyst in all of this. With the beginning theme being Ten of Pentacles. Look at that ending. Wow. That is nice. That is nice, cancer. I always read bad readings for you guys, and I never know why, and I hate that. You guys deserve nice shit. You're just happy, bubbly people who cry a lot. But you don't let anybody see, but you definitely act moody about it. That much I do know about you cancers. But I say this as a Capricorn. So don't mind me. I'm your complete polar opposite. When you think of the motions, I think with my brain. Because, you know, common sense is necessary. But anyway, enough about my assholery. Let's see. Prince of Pentacles reversed. Like, someone isn't delivering something. In fact, they're walking away from it. They're just like, fuck this. I'll just go back to whence I came. <laughs> like, that is like the vibe of getting. Like, someone just is not. He's just like, nah, I'm good. That's what it looks like. He's just looking back while his horses go. He's like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 I'm good. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> um, two of Wands. Someone is just being like, no, nah, I'm not even making a decision on this. I don't even want to come to the energy. I don't want to invest the energy. They just decided to stall out and just sit where they are or just go back from where they came from with that. They're just like, nah. But down here is the Queen of Swords, and usually she's pretty clear cut and dry about things. But the Prince of Pentacles isn't coming to deliver. Like, it usually he talks about offer, but I feel like he was supposed to come in for something. Usually he's slow as it is, but now he's just not doing it. Now he's just going the other way. Not even making progress. Not even trying to make progress. About some sort of decision that needs to be made. Down here, the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Oh, mind you. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus up here. Um, That's the energies. It doesn't have to be the people, so don't worry about it. Um, the Queen of Swords, she's usually very determined. She knows which heads to cut off. She's usually very um, decisive. But here we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is like... Bad investment, I'd say. Like, the we like the, the spider is high off some sort of bug, and its web's all fucky, and it's all just gonna come crumbling down. Like, it's a bad investment. It, 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 like... It's like someone's trying to think logically, and it is not their strong suit. It's kind of, it, yeah, because it's kind of like I said, Cancer, you guys are emotional thinkers. You think with your emotions, and, you know, it's very important for you. But it's just like someone's trying to be decisive, and it's not working. It's coming off as wrong. 
right? They have the Three of Pentacles in what you want, which is not working on something. You don't want to... Hmm. These are such different cards. Like, this dude is like... Okay, so... Here, when it's right side up, okay? There is a balancing act this dude's pulling off, right? But it's upside down, so now it's like he's hanging. And most people who are hanged don't keep their strength for very long. Eventually they let go and they suffer injuries or worse, they fall to their death, right? Um, someone is... <laughs> okay, it's like someone's hanging on, and now, but not wanting to um, deal or balance out a Two of Cups situation. Could be between lovers, friends, family, doesn't really matter. But someone's just, someone is just not even trying, and it's like... There's a Seven of Swords verse down here, man. Like, what, what's, what's the hubris in, like, your... Like, not, like, you're pulling your weight. Your own weight. Like, it, it, it okay. This is like imbalance for me because like right side up he's balancing himself and now he's not he's hanging on to these pentacles instead of working himself onto them. And then there's a two cups and it's like someone does someone's carrying their own weight now because like they're not working on this relationship is that what's going on? Like this is so weird. I'm sorry if I'm laughing and you're getting offended but it's just I'm just sitting here like why would you like, why would you not work on something? And this doesn't have to be you cancer, just be your cross watcher. But it's like, why would you not invest in something that's just going to cause whoa shit. That's just gonna cause you pain later on. Almost financial pain in this and emotional stagnation in this card, you know. Because this does deal with work. This could deal with like how you're setting your skills up. This could be dealing with how you are um putting yourself when it comes to the actual like perimeters of what you're established as skills talents means um all that shit right and and like you're hanging on to it rather than investing yourself into balancing it out in order for you to benefit by being on top of all of this right you're not on top of this you're hanging below it which means like lack of control almost to me as i look at this card God, I love reading these cards. Like, ah, uh, I love these cards. They're, they are, they have so much information just looking at their design and their beauty. However, um... As beautiful as this image is upside down, it, I, I feel like it goes against you so much. Like, wanting to hang on to... Is someone being a gold digger? Just out of out of the blue. That was just a thought. Someone being a gold digger? Is that why you're hanging on to this financial status with a relationship too? Because that could be a scenario too. If you're doing that, yeah, well, good for you. Like I'm glad that you're that you got that talent. Because I sure as fuck don't. I'm I've been a worker all my life. I'm slightly jealous when I say no. <laughs> like I don't know if that's a good idea, man. What's going against you? Like, Seven of Swords could deal with apologies for doing something wrong in the background. Um, the Seven usually in this one, to me, represents someone carrying baggage because it's all behind him. And I feel like he's still dragging it with him, even though he left two swords to lighten the load. It just, it wasn't enough. And they could be coming back to talk about that. Like, that's what's going against you. Oh! It looks like... Hmm... The Emperor Reverse. That's Aries. I don't feel like someone's dealing with an Aries as much as like... Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. Was someone... Was someone kind of being a bully? Kind of being selfish? Rude? About something they were being a sneakster about. Like, is someone... Like, is Aries or is this, like, out of control or lost of control, right? 
Maybe somebody is um <clears throat> finally feeling guilty by a scenario. Where they didn't want to balance something out with another person. Like maybe they thought they could drag that along for a while and now they realize, oh I really can't halt in a sense what is happening. Right? Like that could be a possibility too. Hold on, I wanna get me like something to drink. I forgot my pill anyway, so yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do that. So I don't want to like. This does not feel cold enough for me. Whatever, I don't care. I just want to. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm getting unsure. I didn't take my pill last night, so I usually do this. I can only drink the chocolate ones, so everything else is just gross to me. Okay. Last two cards on this floor. Oh, shit. I said two. Thank you. Let's see. We have the Hierophant. Well, no, I got three. Eight of Pentacles. I didn't even notice that. My bad. I feel like someone was being grossly selfish and manipulative. And that's kind of what they're dragging around with this apology they're wanting to give. You know, like, they're aware of their bad behaviors and how they were being, like, dickish. <clears throat> and I, I, I almost feel like someone feels like even though they tried to leave this behind, they're still going to be dragging it around. Like the awareness, like a ghost, almost. Not not being balanced or fair with the relationship. Maybe gold digging a little bit. Eight of Pentacles reverse and the fears and rejections, right? Someone, usually Eight of Cups is like walking away. With this though, I feel like... Hmm. No, this is Eight of Pentacles, not Eight of Cups. My bad. Um. I just wonder why there were Pentacles in this. Um. Let's see. This is building. But I feel like someone's really puzzled. Just because of the box. That, and like, that's it. That's like, that's it. It's like, someone is puzzled. on how to go about getting anything done. Maybe that's why this person stalled out on the decision. Maybe they're kind of surrendering and turning back or cheating. How to bring harmony, unity, balance. I don't think they know how. <laughs> I think someone's really scared that they don't know how to bring it back. Or they don't know how to open a door, as another YouTuber I heard once say before a walk. Which is a really weird interpretation that I never thought of, but it makes a lot of sense when you really think about it. Oh, the Hierophant. Ooh, and the other one as well. Okay, so the Hierophant, right? That is the controller of orders, rules. Maybe somebody wants something to establish. This is the catalyst and the result. <laughs> What? Okay, hold on. Hmm. Now he's a dude who says what to do. He's the rule maker. The bishop. He's got a lamb right here to symbolize how holy he is. He's got his hand out here projecting the people that he rules over. Um, he's well established as the person to go to for immediate information about how to go about being of the tradition, of the religion, of the belief, of the established order. He is that person. No idea what the fuck to do. 
<laughs> no ideas on what the hell to do. Not weighing options out. Juggling poorly those options as well, I have to say. Hmm. Final card. The ending theme is the chair in reverse. This is your card. Cancer. What going over a <laughs> going over a water cliff. Because you're too busy putting your arms out like, uh, no, I don't care. I'm not even trying anymore. It, it's not important to me. Right? Like I like to say, charging in for a fight. But I feel like you're fighting without really paying attention to whatever it is you're fighting for. Like you're not making up a plan. Like you're trying to. You're trying to think logically, but like 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 I said, that's not your strong suit. You have to think with your emotions or use your emotions to guide you to the best solution. Like that is the best thing you are good at, Cancer. You use your emotions to solve problems much more easier than any zodiac sign I've ever seen. You all also have a habit of playing the vulnerability card to a fucking T. And that is just, uh, that is annoying to me. I don't know why you guys do that. It's just like, you don't want to act weak all the time. You're not weak. Stand up and say something if it's that important, you know? The worst thing can happen is someone telling you no. Like, and, and then after that, it's over with and done with. If you're worried about a situation with someone you're not entirely sure of. Because I feel like that's what it is. It's like, especially with this Two of Cups right here. And the Three of Pentacles. It's like, you're dealing with somebody you don't want to work things out with. Because you don't want to admit you were a dick. It's one of those things, right? I, I, I just gotta say, it feels like someone knows they were being a dick and they don't care. <laughs> and they just, and it's like, huh. Like, not even establishing any blame taking either. Not saying that it's your fault, though. Like, because it probably isn't your fault. You probably just didn't realize, like, I don't know. Cancer, some of you just seem oblivious to the shit you do. Even though everybody tells you, hey, don't do this. There we go. Oh, no, no, it didn't. Ah, cancer. But yeah, it seems like you're really... With the chariot reverse down here, okay? It, it seems like... It's not that you're out of your element, it's that, like, you're closing yourself off for battle. But you don't realize you're fighting yourself a little bit. Go in... There we go. Maybe not. Just... God damn it. Okay, there we go. Just don't fall over. Okay, now I gotta do the other. Right? Right. Ah, it's smoky all fucking ready. Ew. Hope this isn't fucking with the camera too much, y'all. Nah, you're good. You can see shit. Okay. Anyway, last three cards. So I'll shut the fuck up. That one popped out. We have the Nine of Pentacles right here. Like, someone is really trying to establish a sense of self. I thought that was a bed earlier on somebody else's reading, but no, that's actually a piano. Um, looking to the stars to inspire you. Looking up to inspire you. Possibly investment in talents and skills as well. See, this one, I'm still not sure about this middle section for advice, right? Because it's just like, I'm not entirely sure about this one. But it really feels like someone is carrying around and needs to apologize for being a bully dick. An inconsiderate 
person at the time just wanting control and got out of control. I feel like that, but it's like they don't want to in balance out a relationship. Almost like abusive. Oh, I actually got the last two. Now they're just sitting there waiting for shit. <laughs> for a signal, I guess, or something? What is this? I don't get this. Okay. Is somebody just like waiting for somebody else to catch up or something? Or waiting for someone to come balance them out? Like you're waiting on a response to something? Hmm. Last card, right? With this person who, um... Is puzzled about a union. And not really being able to weigh out... Possibly the right thing to do. Seven of Cups, a lot of mental confusion, a lot of drained energy. Like, someone is just zapped out of it like someone just can't even concentrate right now right someone is just Ugh. like I can't do this I don't know like someone's scattered emotionally and I feel like it's you cancer I really do I feel like you're so scattered emotionally that you're not sure how to go about things like you guys aren't really good with approaching things anyway you're really sideways about what you want and then you have a habit of just like like you guys have a habit of trying to lure somebody into some emotional connection and then a snapping on them because it's just like well they did something to hurt me so i'm gonna get them back and it's just kind of like then you think about it and it's just like oh wait that possibly hurt them too fuck like you guys have a habit of not realizing that like Hurting people's feelings causes them to not like you more. In some cases. Like some people can take when someone's in their feelings. Some people cannot. And I feel like there might be need for consideration of that. And if you don't think that like you should be investing or anything like that, that's up to you, right? But like down here it's like that's bothering you more than anything bitch I was talking you know that's all I gotta say on that cancer but that's your reading I'll see you guys later bye bye